Hello my dudes and welcome back to All The Mods 9 Enchant The World Magical Mods. This episode we're going to be tackling the big fiend of- oh my god, who's this? Ah! It's a big- it's a big zombie, what the hell? Get out of here. A zombie brute. Wow, two shot. Anyway, where was I before I got rudely interrupted? So yeah, basically this episode we're going to be tackling the Ender Dragon, going to the end, seeing if we can take him down. But before we go there, I want to show you a couple of things I've changed around our wizard tower. Number one, we've got loads of carpet down. I've gone with this kind of like brown and green look, because yeah, we're earth mages, and this kind of looks like a grass block, so I kind of like that carpet effect. Also, it turns out the pickup upgrade did work, it's just all of the blocks were flying out of the middle. So I built this kind of like diorite cage around it. So now we can just open up the top. Toss items in the middle. Yeah, here we go, cobble deep slate. Toss it in and it should get burned. And if it stays within the zone, it goes into my backpack. It's not 100%, but it's much better than it was before. Pretty cool. Now also I've added another imbuement chamber over here with some materials that we're going to use to make augment arrows. These amplify spells used on the bow twice. Which sounds pretty freaking amazing. It does mean I'm going to have to come back and change the bow enchant that we have on here. I'm thinking maybe like a harm ball. With even propagate homing, that could be amazing. But yeah, this setup is you put arrows in the top, they feed down into this, then they automatically go into the chest at the bottom, and it uses source from this jar if it's full. But that source is going elsewhere at the moment, because yeah, we've got lots of busy things going on in the tower. We've also added another imbuement chamber, this time for the conjuration essence. So now we have that fully configured, and also we got, wait, where are we? Wrong floor. Yeah, here we go, an evoker. We went back to the evoker stronghold and we captured one of these guys to put inside a jar. And fingers crossed, we should get totems of undying in here if we're lucky, but oh man, wow, this chest is filling up pretty quickly. But yeah, this episode, I'm gonna craft some eyes of ender downstairs. I'm gonna go out into the world, see if I can find the end stronghold and tackle the ender dragon. So wish me luck dudes and let's go. So in my pack, I have Eyes of Ender, essential for finding our way to the End Stronghold. Then we've got some Waystone so I can mark the location because I'm going to want to come back and raid the End again, probably at some point. I've got my magical spells, equipment and gear, some food, a jar of voiding. I've got my Enchanter's Wand with Wormhole Miner on there. Amazing. So we should be good to go. I want to get this Tier 3 armor and the Geomancer set at Tier 4. So we're going to toss up the Eye of Ender, and it's this way, so let's go. Now we don't have infinite mana. I can't quite spam Mage Leap until the end of time. But we're still pretty good for mana. So yeah, this way again. Oh man. Now it could be a long way in this direction, I just don't know. I have no idea where the nearest stronghold is. Into the sunset, my friends. This is where the stronghold is. Okay, one more try. Who are you? Hello, little dude. Yep, this direction. Oh, back the way we came. Okay, so it looks like we found where the stronghold might be. So on this hill, let's give it a go. This way, okay. And again. Yeah, so it's under this river. Okay, well, let's get digging. No, I don't want to bother with... Filling my backpack up with stuff using the wormhole miner. So we're gonna go old-fashioned this time and touch dig. Also, time to don the night vision goggles to make finding our way around much easier. So touch dig, and we're just gonna dig straight down. Okay, so the map says it's in this direction, roughly, the end fortress. But this is taking too long, so we're going to use Hammer Dig. Here we go. Much better. And we can actually spam this as well. Whoa. Okay, cool. Oh, right. Yeah, because we're still using our Jar of Voiding, so we're getting all that mana back. Great. 
Now, this is where the fortress is. It could be up or it could be down. I think it's probably down. Aha! Here we go. We found it. I spy with my little eye. Get out of here, scum. The end fortress. So we could be fishing around in here for a while until we find it. But I feel pretty lucky. Oh, wait. Is this it? Could this be it? No. No, it's not. Ooh, loot, though. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, lots of good loot. Yeah, diamonds. Whoa, hang on a sec, who are you? Get out of here. Look at this for a treasure room. Oh yeah, all the loot down here, but I don't need any of this. I've already got all of this on farm. However, some golden barrels that could have some real booty inside here. Oh yeah, ancient scrolls, superstitious hats, magical scrolls. Micro-missiles! Oh, and mana steel. That will be useful. Oh, wait, what's that over there? Is that... Oh, yeah, I think we found it, my dudes. Here we go. There is a spawner here, which we will get rid of. There we go. And, yeah, so these extra Eye of Enders that we have, they're going to come in kind of handy. Put some stuff in my backpack. And junk the rest of this in some lava. Yeah, there we go. So long, scrubby loot. So here we go. The waystone that's going to be end portal. There we go. So we always have a way back here. Now we're going to toss in the eyes of ender. Oh, yeah. Love that sound. Oh, careful. There we go. Okay. So harm ball at the ready. I think harm ball is going to be the spell for us because it is an earth magic spell and we're earth mages. I think we're good to go. Yeah, this, sh this should kick some ass. Let's give it a go. It's us versus the Ender Dragon with Harm Ball and a whole set of magical gear. Oh god, where am I now? What's happened? This isn't this isn't right. This isn't how it's supposed to work. How do I get to the dragon? Who's ringing that bell? Stop ringing that bell. Aha, here we are. So this is it. This is the location. Oh, now, can I use Harm Ball to destroy these crystals? I'm not actually sure. Wait. These spikes aren't showing us the crystals yet. Oh, I think we have to go in here and do something. Oh, yeah, here we go. Something's happening. Oh, right, so he explodes. The columns. Oh, man, I've never seen this happen. This looks amazing. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a cool effect. That is amazing. That is really, really cool. Anyway, let's shut down these by using harm ball on them. Now, I hope this works. Is it going to work? Does harm ball work on these things? Moment of truth. Yes, it does. Oh, my God. It could have been terrible there. Now, also, luckily, Harm Ball is spammable, and it one-shots these Ender Dudes. Oh, so good. Okay, well, let's just ride around and explode some crystals. Yeah, looking good. Now, there is a range on Harm Ball, and it looks like it kind of runs out. Oh, no, no. It just goes out of my visual range. Oh, hey. Come on, dude. Not cool. Okay, we need to get these last... Oh, careful. These last couple of cages. But it looks like these ones over here are locked behind some stuff. So, maybe just some projectile dig might work. There we go. Long dig. Is that going to work? Yes, it's working. Amazing. Thread the needle. Yes. Okay, and the final one over here. 
And a bit of harm ball. Yes! There we go. He's he's weak. He's weak. Oh my god. Every single harm ball takes off loads and loads of health. Now, unfortunately, these harm balls go pretty slow. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly augment this spell. Um, by adding... Here we go. So, projectile. No, wait, we can't. We'll, we'll add some splits. Splits. Harm. Oh my god, we're getting killed. So we'll go really high up into the sky, where we should be safe. And now let's redesign this spell in the sky. Sure, why not? Now we haven't actually got... Oh, right, yeah. So we could use some split. But I think we're okay. I think I like how cheap harm ball is at the moment. So we're just really going to leap around and kick this guy's butt. We can catch up to him with Mage Leap for sure, then just switch to the spell that we want and cast it. Oh, but it is really hard to hit him with this. We kind of have to predict where he's going to go. But also we can kind of spam it, so there's really just no end to this. We'll get him eventually with one of these spells, surely. Oh, now while we're here actually, look at this, another... Waystone. So now we have a waystone directly to the Ender Dragon fight. So why did I come back here? Well, I realized there's something we're missing. We're going to need some bottles because I want to get some Ender Dragon breath. Let's give it a go. So, oh, whoops. Get out of here, dude. So the bottle on this stuff. Yes. Oh, it works. Okay, yeah. So we definitely want this stuff. Dragon's breath is going to be essential for us. Okay, cool. Now it's time to kill this dude. Okay, yeah, we got him once. <laughs> it's not exactly easy to hit this guy. You know what? I'm going to try adding split to this. So, split, split, harm, amplify, amplify. There we go. Now, it's not going to be quite as spammable as it used to be, but this should give us... Oh, yeah, look at this. And so now we can kind of like shoot it in a, in a fork, which should make it much easier to hit him. Yeah, there we go. We're doing it. Yeah, every now and again, we are actually hitting this guy. Oh, we can actually hit him while he's there, while he's recharging. I did not know that. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at this guy go down. The home straight, the last few shots. Oh my god, he's so hard to hit. So, note to self, learn projectile speed, because it makes killing the ender dragon so much easier. Where has he gone now? Come here, dude. Mage leap. Here we go. Death from above. Yes, we did it! Oh my god, my dudes! Let's grab the loot. Amazing loot of legends. Oh, now what's this up in the sky? This was dragon skin. Interesting. And the dragon's egg is over here in the middle. Now, I believe what we can do is maybe use silk dig to grab this. Where's it gone? Did I get it? Oh no, it's over there. Oh, so we can't. We can't dig this using Silk Dig. Maybe we can. Yes, we can! We got a dragon egg. Amazing. Quest complete. So now we should be able to get to the mainland. So we're going to go over here. Use a bit of wizard bridge for this. This is the perfect, uh, perfect opportunity for it. And then toss an ender pearl into here. Do I have any ender pearls? Must do. There we go. In we go. Wait, what? There we go. Okay, so we're looking for some of the important things from the end. Oh, get out of here. Now, I think adding split to a spell does reduce the damage slightly. Because I'm not one-shotting these guys anymore, so that's something to be wary of. So we're looking for chorus fruit. Yeah, the big one with chorus fruit 
And with endstone, we can get on our way to making these seeds. So more chorus fruit, yes, please. And we'll gather as much as we can of this stuff because, yeah, it's going to come in real handy. Mage leap over here. We're also going to look for like a weird structure because we need some purper blocks. Whoa, what's going on over here? This looks really cool. Oh, this looks insanely cool. What is this stuff? Maya like crystal. Wow, it looks amazing. So, where is the nearest end kind of structure thing? Don't see anything on the map. I guess just keep flying. Aha, here we go. One of these weird fortresses. So, mage leap up to the top and let's grab some purple. Now, I might as well use the wormhole miner for this one because we're not going to get too many things we don't want here. Yeah. Oh, now be careful. Let's also... Ooh, nope. Let's also see if we can get some interesting loot. Yeah, look at this stuff. Diamond swords, nebulous hearts. We're floating away from the chest. Oh, helium flamingo. Very cool. Cloud in a bottle. Don't mind if I do orb of temporary flight. We can actually use that now. Be quite useful. Yeah, boom. So that's the purple as well. Now, since there was a ship over there, we might actually get very lucky and find an elytra over here. So let's give it a look. I'm always in the market for an elytra. Brewing stands we can kind of ignore, unless they've got some interesting spells. Yeah, potions of healing. Why not? Okay, come on, dude. Don't make me harmball you. There we go. Totem of Void Undying, wow. I guess that means when you fall into the void, yeah, it brings you back to life. That's really cool. Familiar Stone, ooh, a snorkel. That could be really useful. Dragon Scale sounds good. A diamond helmet with some enchantments on it. And the Pièce de Résistance in the item frame. Yes, please, an Elytra. Essential for so many crafts. Well, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to kill the remaining shulker box up here. Get out of here, scum. And put a waystone here as well. Just because, you know what, it's always good to have a waystone in the actual end. So this is an end ship. Sure, why not? And we can use this to go all the way back home to lasting integrity. Amazing! So, Sorcerer's Wrap is used in the Magic Armor upgrade to make... Where is it? Yeah, Tier 3 requires Ender Pearls and Chorus Fruit. So, we'll need the Ender Pearls. There we go. And the Chorus Fruit from our backpack. 23. Not an amazing amount, but plenty. There we go. Oh my god, the full tier 3 set. Now, we're not going to stop here. We're going to make full Geomancer armor. So we're going upstairs, grab the bits we need to turn this into Geomancer goodness. Marks of Mastery, Earth Essence, I believe. And of course, the Netherite Ingots. So Netherite Ingots, Mark of Mastery, 2 Earth Essence. Oh, there we go, the first piece of Geomancer armor. Let's get the rest. And there we go, my friends. The journey to Geomancy has finished. We are finally Geomancers. Let's put all this stuff on. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait, hang on a sec. What does this look like? Oh, wow, okay. So this is the Geomancer armor in all its glory. The Geomancer armor lets you... What does it do? Yeah, so when you have all four pieces equipped, it has some cool effects. It gives you mana regen three by default. Oh man, amazing. We have finally become full Geomancers. Now the armor set kind of looks identical to the other set we have over here, but you know what? That's fine. Now, before we end this episode, what I'm gonna be looking at is the scribes table over here. And basically, yeah, I figured we can probably learn a whole bunch of glyphs now. And there's no reason why I can't just select a glyph and see if we have all of the materials we need. We should do. And the items will fly over and we should just be able to do all of these pretty quickly. 
Yeah, look at that. A glyph of what? Arc projectile? Could be cool. Could be useful. Wither could be really strong, and we have some of those skulls, so that shouldn't be a problem. But also in preparation for next episode, where we tackle some of the world-ending spells possible in Ars Nouveau, I'm also going to need some bangles. What's a bangle? Well, it's a band from the 80s, but it's also a magical s bracelet that reduces costs of certain spells. And these are going to be really important to build some of the most amazing spells we're going to do next episode. So that starts with like a base enchanter's bangle, which is a source gem block and wait, an end crystal? Okay, that's actually not too bad. And some earth essence, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to go and see if I can grab this stuff from the computer. We should have some gas tears by now. Let's take a look. Well, we've got the gas tier, just no glass. Well, if we've got sand, we've got glass. Time to put this smelter into action. Whoa, oh my god, that's so good. So amazing. And there we go, the end crystal, source gem blocks, gold blocks. So there we go, the Enchanter's Bangle, but we want to upgrade this to, obviously, the Earth one, because Earth spells are going to be very important to us as Geomancers, so Earth, Essence, and Cobweb. We got any Cobweb? I should do. Oh yeah, lucky four. And always loads of Earth Essence, because that's my jam, baby. So one, two, was it three? I think it was three. And the bangle in the middle. Very simple. And there we go, an earth bangle. Now let's take a look in the book, show you exactly what this does. Yeah, here we go, the earth bangle. This will boost the damage of your earth spells. Plants blossoms in your arms. Weird. Inflicting snare to enemies hit and granting the wearer immunity to cactus. Oh, that's kind of cool and knockback resistance. But that's just the earth bangle. There are other bangles from different schools. The air bangle gives you a passive boost of speed. That's pretty cool. And the fire bangle, boom, your arms are engulfed in the element, setting on fire enemies hit and granting a passive speed boost while in hot biomes. Okay, cool. And there's also something very important we're gonna need to do for our armor, which is a special kind of spell thread. Here we go, it's the thread of kindling. This causes the target to burn for a short duration before the effect resolves Burn time is increased by 5 seconds per level, so basically we can add Kindling to our armor, as well as Thread of Spores, which does extra poison damage. We can also add Chilling, which also freezes your target. I mean, honestly, now that we've got the Geomancer set, there's no reason why it shouldn't be having all of these spell threads. There we go, there's one Earth Bangle, and we'll slip this bad boy on. Boom. There's only room for two, though, but that's more than enough. So my dudes, a massive thank you for watching this episode. We got the full Geomancer set, we tackled and destroyed the End Dragon. Between now and next episode, I'm going to make bangles for the important schools we're going to need for our world-ending spells. I'm also going to research the glyphs we're going to need. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. I'm going to also build a Pyromancer set and get all the spell thread we're going to need to show you some of the most world-ending amazing spells Ars Nouveau has to offer. We're talking apocalypse level forbidden magic here. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a really good episode. But until next time, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all of you guys who are members and have signed up on Patreon. You guys are super amazing. Don't forget to hop on the Discord and say hello. But until next time, take care, my dudes.